What is up everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back again with another Pokemon Gamble video. But in today's Pokemon Gamble, we have two sets and it's half a booster box, so 18 booster packs. And the two sets that we're going to be opening up today is Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, and then Breakpoint. Nine each from each set. I got my sleeves handy. I got penny sleeves for like hollows and rare reverses that I actually like. And then I got regular, more durable sleeves for ultra rare pools and then obviously i got my water because your boy is gonna need them water breaks because i cannot sit here all day and open up all these pokemon packs even though it's literally not going to take that long because it's only 18 packs and if you guys open pokemon cards before it literally takes so much little time to blow through these packs so without further ado guys a quick little backstory on these packs i got them for 225 a piece from a facebook seller and a friend of mine and main reason why these are so cheap is the person who sold these packs opens up like collection boxes like new release collection box well i can't even speak guys new release collection boxes and he sells the promos like the figures or whatever it comes with he sells all those kind of products and then resells the booster packs within and you know makes a profit off those whatever whatever so i just picked up nine guardians rising and nine breakpoint i wanted to get 18 guardians rising but unfortunately i had to only get nine due to the high demand of guardians rising because there's so many ultra rares in that set so i had to choose nine from a different set unfortunately but two dollars a pack i can't go wrong so without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and organize these packs so we can open up breakpoint sun and moon breakpoint sun and moon and so forth Alrighty guys, so we got the stack nice and organized and we're going to be starting off with one breakpoint pack. We're going to move the whole stack back here. Like I said, this is only going to be a one-parter since it's 18 booster packs and not 36. And I know I said I was going to open up something else and I was going to open this up like later this month. But I just wanted to get into these booster packs because Dragon's Exalted is coming next for Pokemon Gamble. So stay tuned for that guys and hopefully you guys enjoy. Smash that like button. If you guys enjoy Pokemon Gamble, because this is probably going to be one of my most favorite series ever, honestly, because there's going to be a lot of older sets featured, a lot of like gambles for valuable cards, hunts, and stuff like that. So let's just crack into this breakpoint pack and see what kind of pulls we get. Like I said, these are from collection boxes and stuff like that. So hopefully the pulls are in our favor but like i said it can go either way we might not get anything at all but we might get some really really dope pulls all righty y'all we got a cricketot pancham now the card that i want the most from breakpoint are ho-oh cards like really really bad fighting fury belt that's actually a good one right there it's better to get it in reverse though but since it's still a good card overall i'm gonna put it to the side we got a Max Elixir. There we go. Nice little playable trainer here. Oh, man. Speaking of ho-ohs. Oh, man. Oh, man. Speaking of ho-ohs. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's get it. Damn, I wanted a ho-oh card. I was talking about ho-ohs, and I pulled one. Bro, that is like some good luck right there. And then on top of that, we got some playable trainers right there. So we're already starting off strong, guys. I am very, very satisfied right off the bat, even though that Ho-Oh card is literally only like a few dollars worth. But like I said, you never know. So here's a Guardians Rising pack. Obviously, it's a dud, which I hate when they do that with the code cards because you already know nothing is in it. So we might not even waste our time with this. We're just going to see the rare reverse, and then we'll see what we get. We just got a Machop reverse common. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Like I said, guys, if we get, like, a green coat from, like, Guardians Rising, I'm not even going to front. I'm just going to go straight through. And for Breakpoint, however, you can get breaks in this set. So we are going to still be doing the pack trick for this set. We got a Froakie. Does anybody still play the... What is that? The Froakie Greninja deck and so forth? Alrighty, y'all. So we got Score Yupi. And we got a Seismitoad Regular Rare. So we got one out of three packs so far. I mean, it's not really good ratio, but we're I'm hoping for at least a couple ultra S. Jeez, I cannot get this darn pack to open. Jesus, that was like a struggle right there. 
Our first white code from Guardians Rising, y'all. Alrighty, let's hope for the best because there's a lot, a lot of cards that I love and want from Guardians Rising and I just can't even, I like barely have any ultra rares from this set because they're so hard to pull and all the secret rares in this set, I, did I do the pack trick wrong? I'm not even sure what I did. I maybe did three to the front, but we got a victory bell, rare reverse. Yeah, we did the pack trick wrong. So we got a rare reverse right there. I can already see that hype right there, guys. I can already see that hype. We got a holla, holla at your boy for some more Pokemon gamble. You know how I do. We got a Glalie, which is an un uncommon. I thought that was a rare. But we got a Turtonator GX and a Fighting Energy. Look at that, Turtonator GX. Very beautiful. I don't have this card. I know it's not worth much or as playable. Actually, it's. I think it's pretty playable, honestly. Nitro Chain, Nitro Trank, what am I saying? Nitro Tank GX is a pretty, pretty good move. For one Fire Energy, you can attach five energy cards from your discard pile to any of your Pokemon in any way you like. So that is very nice right there. We're actually going to separate our piles. We're going to put a pile for the Ultra Rares. We're going to put a pile for the Rare Reverses. We're going to move that over here a little bit more just so we can get more space. We got our Reverses, Playable, Non-Hollows, and then we're going to put the Hollows. Some We'll figure it out once we pull a Hollow. But I hope we only pull Ultra Rares and no Hollows because your boy don't want any hollows but here's another breakpoint pack right there guys and hopefully you guys pull something dope let me know in the comments down below what you guys pull so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far and enjoying pokemon gamble in general because i enjoy it very very much like honestly this is probably my most favorite series it will be my most favorite series but we got a luxray regular rare right there and i hope this series sticks around i know pokemon gamble can get pretty pricey which is the bad part about it but like i said it's all about risk and it's all about making your monies back did i do i did three to the front no wonder i messed up on that last pack but we got a petalil chancy gothita volpix fletchling victini rare reverse there's a good one right there and we got a marini what is this uh common car no uncommon we got a whimsicott we got a vanillish Oh, man, we got a holla at your boy, Fular. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Full art trainer card right there. Look at that card. Oh, my God. Beautiful right there. I kind of felt... I'm not even going to lie. I kind of felt a little bit of texture, but I didn't want to say anything because I was hoping for, like, a hyper rare or a rainbow rare, I should say now and something like that of that nature maybe like a dce or something like that i don't know maybe but yo i'll take a full art trainer any day we got a gibble chikorita temple so far our pools are pretty pretty good so far i don't want to jinx it yet but we got a club fable rare reverse and we got a greninja regular rare so let's see how many packs we have left we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 so one more pack and we're gonna be at the 10 pack mark so let's see what we get from this pack oh man guardians rising i love you i love you right now but like i said it can be a freaking hollow so i gotta look out for that they should make the hollows in green codes not white codes like i keep saying that in every like guardians rising opening i do and i did the freaking pack trick wrong again are you serious why do I keep doing it wrong? I have no idea. But we got a nice little field blower over there. I'm going to put it over there. Because those are some nice staples to sell. But we got a Chandelure holographic card right here. So there's our first holographic. Now I'm kind of surprised this Pokemon only has one attack. And it's only for one colorless. You know, being a stage 2 and all. But let's see what his ability does. Once during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one, one Pokemon to another Pokemon. Okay. So I guess that's including your own, obviously. So let's go ahead and put the hollows with the ultra rares. Actually, let's put it right here to the side. Just so you guys can get a little good visual of what we're pulling so far. So now let's get into breakpoint. And now breakpoint has a white code. So hopefully you don't disappoint breakpoint because I'm watching you, playa. I'm watching you. But we got a ducklet right off the bat. We got a nummel, blitzel, star you, stantler, puzzle of time, bursting balloon. That's a good one right there. Glay meow and a slow king holographic. This Slowking is actually really playable in some decks. You know, if you want to mess with some Pokemon and move their energies. However, if you have like a G... Because I know there are like GXs out there where you can move as many energies from your bench Pokemon to the defending Pokemon or to the attacking Pokemon, whatever it is. And then you can actually go from there. 
So that card is really, really... It's playable, but at the same time, it can backfire really fast. But in this pack, we got nothing. We got a Rescue Stretcher. I mean, that's all right to get. But not many people run that deck unless you're like need it desperately and your pokemon get knocked out really quick but let's see we got eight packs left guys so we already burned through 10 packs just like that that's already been 10 minutes and we only burned through 10 packs y'all here is a breakpoint pack right there let's do three to the front like i said you can get breaks probably the only break i want from here is the greninja break from here i'm pretty sure it is now the bulk is flying everywhere which is really annoying but we got a phantom Nuzleaf, Gabite, All Night Party. We got a Greninja Rare of Burst. Speaking of Greninja, and then we got another Luxray Holographic. Now, I'm not sure people use this card, so I'm just going to put it with the bulk. I might do some research on, like, playable, more playable trainers, so I know, like, what to look out for and stuff like that. But we got a Guardians Rising code right there. Four to the front. I don't know why I did the pack trick, because we're going to skim through it anyway, since we already know what's up. We got a Choice Ban. That's pretty nice right there. Vanillite and a Honchkrow. I actually love running Honchkrow and what are my dark decks I have with Sharpedo because on Honchkrow's attack, you can actually, de depending on the defending Pokemon of your opponent, on how many damage counters they have, that's how much damage Honchkrow can do. And with Sharpedo, you can actually do some mass damage with spread and stuff like that. So we got a Petalil, Feroki, Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, Esper, Psychic's Third Eye. Damn, dude. Illuminati confirmed right there. You got a third eye player. Where it at, though? Where it at? We got a Palpitoad, Potion, Nummel, and Ferrothorn regular rare. So I think we have five packs left. We have five packs left. Should we save the Guardians Rising for last? Let's do two Guardians Rising last. Let's do Tapu Koko. And let's start off with Hakamoko. Or Kamo O. I think it's Kamo O. -O. Kamo O. I don't even know, man. This dude has so many O's in his name. It's not even funny, but we got a code card right there for Gardens Rising. So it's the green code, which I hate. I hate green codes so much. We got a Pangoro Rare Reverse right there. And for our uncommons, nothing too useful. We got a next breakpoint pack in the cut. Like I said, guys, I want to do Dragons Exalted next. And it's going to be 36 packs of Dragons Exalted. So hopefully, hopefully we get something really, really cool from that lot like i said it's a hit or miss with pokemon gamble you might get nothing you might get something but not much but the point of pokemon gamble is to take risks and you know if you get nothing you, you can't complain because you gambled but anyways we've got a rattata normal reverse and we got an asia slash holographic so the holographics kind of annoy me a lot honestly i hate getting them in white codes really bad Especially holographics that I don't like, like Slowking and Asia Slash. Now, I don't really mind if they're playable, but, you know, just liking the Pokemon in general. Like, no hate. I'm not trying to hate, but there's some Pokemon I prefer more than others. Obviously, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, you do. But we've got an Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, Blitzel, Shelder, Psyduck, Bursting Balloon, another one. We got Kevin Durant. We got a Dewblade. Aromatease Rare Reverse, and we got a Meowstic Regular Rare. Two packs of Guardians Rising left, guys. Two packs. Who should be the final pack? Who should be the final pack? Let's see. When I count to three, whichever pack is in my hand, it will be it. One, two, three. So it's a Tapu Koko pack. Oh no, Tapu Koko pack is the last one. What am I doing? We're going to do Lycanroc Night Form for the next pack, second to last pack, and hope for the best, guys. It is a green code. It is a freaking green code, guys. So out of 18 packs, we haven't done too well, but we got a Phantom, Waylord Rare Reverse. We got a Victory Bell, Max Potion, Tentacruel, and a Lampin. Nothing too good there. Last pack, can we get a DCE to make up for what we spent? Because I literally... I literally just want to make my money back. That's the whole point of Pokemon Gamble. And it is a white code. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Last code, guys. Let's do four to the front. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's hope for the best, guys. Let's hope for the best. Alrighty. We got a Bell Sprout. I just hope, I swear, if it's a hollow, I'm I'm probably gonna lose my mind if it is a holographic card. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm probably gonna flip and I'm probably gonna get mad. So we got a Sligu. Beware. Sableye and the final card of this Pokemon Gamble opening 
is going to be a comfy holographic card. A holographic, guys. A holographic, man. Why do they do this to me? Why? Why? They give me these white codes and all I pull are hollows. Whatever, man. It's all good. So let's just go ahead and round up our pulls and let's see what we got. So let's save the best for last and let's start off with our rare reverses. So out of 18 packs, guys, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rare reverses. Well, we got 6 rare reverses and then a playable trainer, which is probably worth more than all of these reverses combined. So I'm going to put that in the top. And then we got some more playable trainers right here which might give me an idea for a future giveaway you know like a playable lot that you guys can win and then the best for last let's actually put our boy holla back there but out of 18 packs this is what we actually pull so we got one two three four five six seven pulls out of 18 packs we got a comfy holographic so that's one hollow right there Aegis Slash Hollows, two hollows, Slow King, and a Chandelure. Those are four hollows right there. So I hate pulling hollows. These could have been GXs, but Pokemon be playing and putting hollows in green codes. And for our ultra rares, we got a Turtonator GX card, regular art right here. And then we got a Ho Oh EX, regular art, but I'm really, really happy about this card. I'm glad we pulled it in the first pack. I was like shocked when I pulled it out of the first pack because I was literally talking about it. But anyways, the final card we pull is a Hala right here, guys. And this is probably the most valuable card we pull. Like I said, I'm going to mention this now. I will put the value of these cards somewhere right here beforehand. So you're probably going to be like, why is he putting prices? But when you're listening to this now, you'll know why. But without further ado, guys, I'd say it was an average 18 packs. I mean... We got a full art, two GXs, and then we got four hollows. That's like basically opening a booster box. And this is like the left side of the box or the right side. And then the other side is going to have all the goodies. So probably if I opened up a full 36 packs, I would have got like an average box to be honest. But without further ado, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.